YouTube. This is West Virginia Lip Ripper, and today I have a package from Vikes Custom Lures. He sent me a 110 piece jig kit, and he has also sent me a package of his strike indicators. Both these products are made inside the United States of America, so let's drop down low and see what's in the kit. Alright, like I mentioned in the intro, um, here is the 110 piece jig kit. Inside, you're going to get 10 of every color grub. You're going to get a uh, 164th ounce sickle head hook. You're going to get 10 silver and 10 black. Uh, you can find these at mikescustomlores.com. Everything uh, is made inside the United States. These are great for trout, perch, crappie, bluegill, uh, and any other panfish that you're going to want to go after. So let's take a look inside here. And just at a first glance, I mean, the collar and the detail uh, on these grubs is really, really nice. Uh, what makes these grubs special in my eyes is, set this down here, is actually the tail. It's a small tapered tail. Um, you can see as it wiggles there the action uh, that that's going to have when it gets in some kind of current here. Um, moving on to the jig head itself, it's a 164th ounce jig head, all hand painted. And we have a sickle hook, which is actually, in my opinion, better than a straight shank because it's actually going to help pin the fish's mouth to the hook once you actually hook up. So I don't know if you can see it there, but there's a little slight bend in the hook there. But how I like to rig these up, I'm going to I'm going to do the orange uh, just to kind of show you. Uh, you're going to take the jig head, hold the jig head, the head of it actually in your hand, take the hook like such down into the center you're going to make sure you put this on there nice and straight down into the grub like such and you're going to run it up until there's a small indention on the side of every one of these grubs you're going to take it down to the bottom of that and you're going to pull the hook through the side of the grub maybe just a touch more there we go so you're going to pull it through the side like such and then you're going to shove it up on the shank so now you have a nice straight presentation. And I just love I love the tails on these things. It's awesome. I mean I, I can't wait to see what it does in the water. So there it is. There you have it. I'm gonna show you uh how I kind of uh would fish something like this. Um I've got a six pound main line here. So we're gonna take and run the main line through the jig head. I use what is called a fisherman's knot. It's basically improved clinch uh, where you do the wrapping seven times, run it through the loop, uh, and then back through. Um, this isn't a video to, to show you how to tie knots. There's plenty of those on, on the internet here and YouTube. So you run that through. Once I get that cinch down, I get it on there. I make sure I get it on there nice and straight so it's not off to the side. But I trim my tail off about an eighth of an inch that way if it does pull tight uh it doesn't slip the hook uh and you you won't lose your fish or your hook if you get snagged so there it is it's tied on and he also sent me these really really sweet strike indicators uh these are a 1.5 these are a little bigger than normal that you'll normally see on the market which i love but still small enough uh, that you can use it for panfish. But the castability of these things uh, has to be unreal. So I've dropped that black thing. But you take that out just like such. And it comes two pieces. And you're, there's a small slit in the side of these. You're going to take and run it up on your main line. If I can get a hold of it here. Got it on there. In there like such. And you're going to take this black peg. I like to run mine about a foot above the jig head, maybe eight inches there. And you're going to shove the black peg down into the top of the strike indicator. So there you have it. You've got the strike indicator about, I like anywhere from eight inches to a foot, depending on the water that I'm fishing. And you're set up. Now, that right there is absolutely amazing. But another little simple trick I like to add to his stuff, or anything that I fish similar to that, is I am like to tip mine with an actual mealworm. 
These are what you call a super worm. You can find these at the pet store. They're about $24, two dozen for about $3.50. Um, just a tad bigger than your traditional mealworm. And one good thing about it, you do not have to keep them refrigerated. So I'll take the mealworm like such, and I'll take the jig head, and I'll run the mealworm right in the center of the mealworm up on the jig so it can naturally still move around. As you can see, it's still moving. And this just kind of sweetens the deal a little bit. But I, I found tipping anything like this that, that I've fished like this in the past with a mealworm uh, helps tremendously. So there you have it. The strike indicator down to the leader, to the jig head, and you've got your mealworm, or grub I should say, tipped with your super worm. So once again, I want to thank Mike. Uh, that was very, very nice of him to send this kit uh, for me to give a try. If anybody else wants to give it a try, please go to mikescustomlores.com. All this stuff is made inside the United States. Uh, and this guy's a veteran, so go uh, go support uh, a veteran uh, doing what he loves by making lures there uh, on the web page. If you guys haven't liked the video, please uh, like the video. Comment down below uh, what's your favorite collar grub or what you like to tip your jig heads with, if you tip it at all. But um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the page, uh, and we'll see you next time. Let's let's go rip some lips. Got him, baby.